Hey, it is 946. Time now to imagine it with Carl Nelson, the chief scientist from the Imagination Station. Uh, what, what are you doing there? Well, we are going to uh, make vampire slime. Sure we are. Because Halloween <laughs> is coming up, okay? I'm going to put on these gloves. You should put on the gloves. All right. Now, we've talked about making slime before here, yeah. and it's really simple. And the recipe is on our website. Um, it is basically just a mixture of clear glue mm -hmm. right here, which is a polymer, and then some borax solution, which you can find in the laundry aisle, which cross-links the polymers. And I mixed up a little bit beforehand. If you want to reach in there and pull some of that out for me. Just with my gloved hands? Yeah, just with your gloved hands. Just get a good... Uh, okay, so this is your ordinary slime. Go ahead and pull that out. A chew. Right. That's just your ordinary <laughs> slime. Right? Yeah. We're going to step it up a bit. And you can actually step this up a bit at home, too, if you take a highlighter. Oh. Highlighters have inside them a fluorescent dye called fluorescein. And if I turn on a black light here, I've been soaking some in some water, you can actually see <laughs> how brilliantly that glows <laughs> under black light. That's terrific. Right? So it fluoresces. <laughs> you can make your slime using this stuff, and it'll glow under black light. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's like radioactive. <laughs> it almost looks like it. It's, it's a very cool effect. <laughs> yeah. Now, this stuff, this fluorescein, is the first step towards making vampire blood. Oh, this what? This is our special concoction here. All right. It's uh, some of the fluorescein along with another dye that will do something pretty cool to the slime. Mm. So we're going to mix this up. I'm going to have you actually go ahead and just can I, can I shut yeah, this down? Very sticky. Yeah, yeah, okay, just, yeah, it's yeah. going to be hard. That's yeah, the nature go. of slime. Uh, okay, what I want you to do is just pour that into our mixture of soap and water. Okay. Don't I, drink it. I want to dye your slime. Go ahead and pour it right in. And this say is, it like a vampire. This is pretty cool in itself because when the dye gets in the water, let me turn on the black light here, you can see it really fluoresces and it really makes some really cool <laughs> looking stuff in it. That oh. is cool. But we're going to make slime, though. This right. is not slime yet. This is just dyed water. <laughs> what I want you to do is take the borax solution, and as I'm stirring, slowly pour it in. Don't do this stream. in a washing machine, by the way. Yeah, don't. A little bit slower. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. that's, and, okay, so if you're doing this at home, you can adjust the quality of your slime <laughs> by the amount of borax you add. If you want it really thick and chunky, <laughs> put a lot of borax in. Mm, needs if more you, borax. If you want it slimy and wet, <laughs> just add a little bit of borax, because that adjusts how much cross-linking there is. Now. The cool thing about vampire slime, I think, and this is, I'm excited about this, is that, what color is it? It's green. It's green. Yeah. Exactly. Now, in fact, what's really neat is if we turn on the black light, let me flip this on here, okay. and check out what it looks like under the black light, okay? So it's really, really fluorescing on the one side because yeah. of the uh, phosphor in there. Now, the neat thing is, Tony, grab this flashlight here. Okay. I'll turn it on for you. What we're going to do is, if you shine the flashlight, here, let's point it at the camera so they can see okay. at home. Right through it. Right through it. Light passing through it is red. That's wild. But that is... light that reflects off the front. Put the flashlight in the very front and so we can light up the front. It's green. It's green. How is that possible? Okay. So what happens is, let's pull this out. What happens is light that passes through it. Grab the flashlight here and see if you can uh, shine through there. <laughs> and point towards the camera so hey, they can see hey, it. Yeah, it's, and it's red this way. It's red when light passes through it. So there's a dye inside that absorbs all the light that is everything except for red, allowing red to pass through. And the phosphor on the outside, the... the um, the fluorescent material reflects the green, so put the flashlight in the front, and it looks very, very green. That is so cool. In fact, if we turn on the black light, it's, it's even all crazier of... because it fluoresces so much wow. that it is super, super green. All right, well, the recipe for this, if you want to make it at home, is on your website. Check with your parents first, but it's also exactly. part of the Imagination Station Spooky Science, which is going on right now. The entire month of October. Come right. on down and check it out. Today's Saturday, 12 and under, Lucas County residents. Get in free. All right, thanks very much, Carl. We're going to turn it over to Spooky Dave with sports.